Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for subscribing. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thank you and welcome back. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit the notification bell twice so that you'll be notified when I upload new videos and I upload new videos every week. Today on Creative Glam, I'm going to share with you the making of a couple greeting cards. I'm going to make a couple fall greeting cards. Um, as you can see, I got some decorative paper here that I got from Michael. I think almost everything came from Michael's except the mountain tape. I believe it came from Target. The embellishments came from Michael's. The paper came from Michael's. Yeah, everything else came from Michael's. I'm also going to make... I thought I'd share with you the making of my new cell phone. Not new cell phone case, but changing the back, changing the paper inside my cell phone case. My cell phone, I usually purchase these off of Amazon. And they're the TPU clear background. I purchase the kickstands to put on the back of the phone. And then I get the different cases with the different colors around the edges. I get the black one. Well, I get the silver one and I had glitter paper in. And I'm gonna change that out today and use the silver spun paper that you see right here. You can see the difference in the two. They're both very pretty, but I'm just ready for a change. I change my cell phone cases quite often. Um, but like I said, I purchased these cases from Amazon. This is a black case, and I put black glitter paper in. This is a gold case, and I put gold glitter paper in. And this one is rose gold and I put a rose gold paper in the back of it. So I, I change my cell phone cases out often and so today I'm actually, not only am I going to change the case, but I'm actually going to change the paper that goes into the back of the case. So I'm going to do that as well as with a couple of reading. So I think I'm going to start with the cell phone case first. Let's get started. I'm going to use the current um, decorative paper that I use in the back of the phone as a super simple I just need to uh, cut a hole out here for the camera and for the um, biometrics for the thumb scanner wipe it off now to get rid of the fingerprints, the smudge marks, and uh, yeah, alright. They're relatively easy to make. It's nothing more than a piece of card cardstock that's been scored. And like I said, this is going to be a fall card. So, I think...
They stand out more on this one. And this looks a little spree with the bee. I think the bees, I had originally got it because I like the colors in it, but it is looking a little more spring to me. What I usually like to do is just use them as a border. And center it. It's gonna look something like this. I'm okay when it comes to cutting with scissors. I'm okay, but I'm much rather <laughs> I'd much rather use a paper cutter. That way I, I'm a little more precise in my cutting. my glitter glue, the um, art glitter glue, and it dries clear. I like it a lot, but I, for some reason, I prefer, not for some reason, I prefer using the double-sided paint for this, because sometimes the glitter glue can get a little um, wet and cause the card to I'm going to repeat that step, making the next one just a little smaller.
that's cute. I like that. I think that's going to be nice. And again, I'll just take some of my tea. I love this tape. I like, as I said, I like the glitter and blue too, but this works well for me. Again, like I said, I hadn't decided whether I want to do it. I hadn't decided whether I want to do landscape or portrait. Now, let's look at some.
as 3D. I think that's what I want to do. Take. I love making these cards. So much fun. I enjoy doing them. They don't take long to do. And it's like almost like an instant gratification thing you have there. I love it. So I'm gonna center this, but a little, leaning a little bit towards the top, leaving myself room to write the sentiment to the person that I give it to. Then I can add my little gift card in there, my, my gift card to Target, my gift card to uh, Starbucks, whatever gift card I want to put in there. We're saying thanks for watering the plant, thanks for walking the dog, um, whatever you want to say thanks to your friend, and uh, put your gift card in. And like I said, the next one will be the gatefold card. Now let's see. 
What colors do I like? I think I'm gonna go with this. Oh, that's green. Just like that. What? What I'm gonna do is cut it in one piece and then split it up the center. I find that to be easiest as opposed to trying to, you know, do it twice.
remember I was thinking about that blue earlier. Right, right day. I like that. up a little too much space i would need a um landscape card for that i like that you brighten my day totally but that brown that that gets lost
then I will need to move this up. That is so cute. I'm determined to get my leaf on there, but I don't think it's gonna work for this. So. so, but I think that's cute. And then so, on the inside, Still leaving enough room down here on the bottom for your sentiment. Um, I could do You Are My Sunshine. It's a little long. <laughs> I can 
geben. right over here what I want to say. I think that's very good. Just enough to say thank I got my wooden embellishment on there. Two different types of decorative paper. Ordered A2 card and I decided to use it landscape. And then on the inside it says friendship is a gift that lasts forever. I drop in there a gift card to Starbucks or Target. Just a quick little thank you to a friend for doing random acts of kindness. Picking up the mail, watching the house, watering the plants, walking the dog. I think that's a perfect card for that. And then of course this one, a little birdie told me, home is where the heart is. And then on the inside, just the two of us. And I think that's a sweet little card for any night, for any time, for your loved one, date night or any night. And then up here at the top, you have enough room there to put your sentiment. I think they're both beautiful cards. And it, it, it takes no time at all to make such beautiful cards for friends and love. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit that notification bell twice so you'll be notified when I upload new videos and I upload new videos every week. Make sure you come back next week and tune in. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.